vaccine, and things are going to get hot. We don't have much rehearsal time, so to bring you guys up to speed, here's one of the stars of the film, Mr. Scott Glenn. This engine reminds me of the weeks we spent shooting Backdraft, and of the new respect we gained for the real firefighters who put their lives on the line for all of us every day. Of course, we had it easy next to those guys. We could yell cut when things got too hot. And our effects guys spent months planning and testing, learning everything they could about fire and its behavior, figuring out how to put the right kind of fire only where we wanted it and only when we wanted it. Meanwhile, another team of effects wizards were hard at work creating an intricate model for shots to intercut with our live action. In this sequence, the roof of a burning building splits right down the middle, with Billy Baldwin barely managing to stay one step ahead of the flames. But we only used models in a couple of sequences. The rest of the time, everything was very real and very hot. Now this scene, the finale of the film, had it all. During the chemical warehouse fire, a giant catwalk gives way, and Kurt Russell's character is just barely able to catch me. And I'm here to tell you this was real. Flames above, flames below, and Kurt and I hanging right in the middle of a firestorm. Let me go, Bo! You go! Where you go! The crew put me in a harness and pulled the cable through my coat, through Kurt's coat, then attached it to the catwalk. Now for the fun part. They painted this flammable liquid on me and set it on fire. That is me burning up there. Of course, I was wearing a flame retardant suit plus three pairs of Nomex long underwear. But during the third take, it got too hot and I had to yell cut. It turned out the flames have gone through to the last layer. For the end of the scene, a dummy is set on fire, and that's what you see fall. There were hundreds of other special effects created for the film. One simple one was called the Ashematic, a machine that threw burning ash over all of us. Man, I hated that thing. At the end of the production, the crew let me blow it up. You know, being here reminds me of the days we spent doing research for the film at a real Chicago fire station, going out on calls with real Chicago firefighters. In fact, for some of us, it was an experience we didn't want to see in. Well, there's nothing quite like a ride in a fire truck. Hi, I'm Kurt Russell. You know, of course, backdraft isn't just about great fire effects. It's also about some very real American heroes firefighters themselves. They labor day in and day out to make our lives safer. And some of the fires they face can be absolutely incredible. That's why we wanted the ones in backdraft to be just as breathtaking. We gave the flames their own personality. In fact, there was one that seemed to have a mind of its own. It could even be considered beautiful. But though it may seem harmless, don't let it seduce you. For without warning, it might suddenly turn on you. 